All together, we will win. All together, we will win. Fight the Jets for Ukraine. 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 Air defense 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 for Ukraine. That air defense has saved countless lives in Ukraine. That air defense continues to save lives right now. As the ancient saying goes, arms keep peace. And Ukraine needs those arms to protect itself against the Russian invasion, against the Russian aggression. That, my friends, is reality. And these goody two-shoes platitudes of the sort of we only need to stop providing weapons and the war will stop are meaningless. Wars don't stop when the victim stops fighting. That is when extermination begins. Imagine the whole world simply put down their weapons when Nazi Germany was advancing on the rest of the world to impose their ideology on those peoples, to exterminate those who they didn't feel like deserved to exist in this world. Imagine the whole world simply put down their weapons and said, sure, go right ahead. We don't want to fight. We don't want war. Well, my friends, there are things far worse than war. It is far worse to be killed and continue getting killed whilst being powerless to stop it, whilst being powerless to do anything about it. That is a result far worse than any kind of war that could have been waged. It is better to face those who want to do harm upon you head on. It is better to fight and die on your feet than on your knees whilst begging for mercy. The Ukrainian people have been fighting for a very long time now. And that is why we say for the whole world to listen that Ukraine will win. But only if Ukraine is provided with the weapons that Ukraine needs to win. It is completely pointless to be expecting victory against a deeply entrenched enemy without actually giving Ukraine the tools necessary to break that entrenchment, to break those defenses. How is Ukraine supposed to win if the best of the best of the NATO military stockpile has not been provided to us? If the people who provide us with weapons make those weapons worse and lower tier on purpose because they don't want to escalate? What kind of joke is that? What kind of idiocy is that? When somebody's coming with a knife to take your life, are you going to try to not punch him hard enough so that the poor thing doesn't get hurt? No, my friends. We need to understand that this is an existential crisis. Not only for Ukraine, but for the free world. There are many other authoritarian countries who are looking very closely at the war in Ukraine, at the war that Russia has started, at the war that Russia has not yet been punished for. They're looking and they're considering their options. They're considering whether or not they will start their own wars, whether or not they will be punished for their own atrocities. That is what they're thinking about. North Korea and Iran are in close cooperation with Russia right now. Let's not forget about that. They are providing weapons, armament and training for many terrorist organizations around the world. We must not forget about that. And many of those terrorist organizations have been acting more boldly lately, specifically to deviate from the war in Ukraine that Russia is struggling in.